Since we're talking about children, let's get back into the children's space again. Please. Yes. I'd like to talk about these the pedophilia that goes on, the, the hetero pedophilia. Mm. Oh, we could have played, we could have played because you know we, we couldn't. Because you know it's a movie. Oh yeah, but what else do we have? Oh, we, there's oh. a there was a ten year old going with us a, a a teacher a teacher. We yes, have that. Yes, we do. Well, the yeah, teacher that, was going with the, him. Yeah, and the mama found out because she was um. You don't have it, Mo? No, I do. Well, let's talk about it. it and so the mama was the mama found out because she went through her son, her kid's phone, and he got a whole motherfucker. He got his, his teacher as the screensaver. The, yeah. Right. And she on there sending him scrap of pictures. Like she got on scrap up he shoes. Was Ten years old. Ten. What do you hoes? Yeah, I, I don't have it because it's, it's a news channel. You're First right. of all, what do you hoes do with kitty dicks? Some of you hoes can't handle the little dicks that these niggas got out here. Y'all read the niggas for having little, little small, un, unused dicks or little tiny dicks. You read the niggas for this. So what in the fuck is you gonna do with the kitty dicks? Do you want to play it on here? Cause I, I do have the screenshot. Let me see the screenshot right here. Well, that's the news story. Well, well, send it to my what you call it. It, okay. it was here in Georgia. No, sit, put the thing up there. And let me. Uh, oh, okay, I was gonna send it to you first though. That's but why. you can still put it up there. Okay. Click on your Instagram and your DMs. Yeah, it should be. Because I thought I sent it to you. Look in your, not the one with us, but just. You sent it to both of them because that's how I got it in there. Right. I, I did. You right there. there you go. I just sent it to you. Man. Here it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Wendy, she's had some concerns for after a couple of instances at the place where her son attends this after school program. But she went to plug in his phone to charge it. And that's when she discovered what was going on between her 10 year old and a worker here at this daycare, the Youth Life Center that hit him more than crossed the line. And she's uncovered that that relationship that had been brewing for likely weeks. They hugged for a lengthy period of time. Grace Joelu thought something was off with a newer worker here at Youth Life Center on Belly Hill Road. But when she plugged in her son's phone, her face was his screensaver on the phone. And it was a picture that she had taken of herself. And she started digging. I went through his text messages because that was the first thing that I thought. And her name was saved in his phone as mommy. It's a bunch of I love you's and what are you wearing? She shared pictures of much of the concerning conversation between her son and the 24 year old worker and pictures like this one. That's not a picture that you send to a 10 year old. That's a picture that you send to your man. She said the worker bought her son clothes, shoes, and even a gold chain. And Grace said when investigators came to her apartment, a Department of Family and Children's Services worker got her 10 year old to reveal more. He did say that this incident where she was rubbing his leg happened on the way back from the field trip. We are using the worker's name or face because she is, is to be charged <laughs> and that's why Grace is outraged. Had it been a situation where it was a little girl and a grown one, a grown man, Take they would have locked him up on the spot with no questions until he was proven innocent. I reached out to Youth Life Center who sent a statement saying upon learning of these allegations, we took immediate action by notifying the appropriate authorities going on to say we have terminated the employee for violations of standard operating procedures. Grace won't rest until that worker is charged. Channel 2's Candace McCallum back out live with us from Clayton County. So Candace, where does this case stand now? Wendy, we reached out multiple times to Clayton County Police and we have not heard back. We did hear back from DFACS who says that they are looking into this case but couldn't say much else because of privacy reasons. That mother says that her 10-year-old is just confused right now. Wendy? And we can all understand why. This is all just very inappropriate and I know you'll be following this one for us, Candace. Thank you. Craig, I know you're not even a dick connoisseur. <laughs> you like booty. Oh, Lord. But what about so it? So is it Coco Felly? You like, ooh. <laughs> you like booty. Uh huh. Craig, what's she gonna do with a 10 year old dick? I don't even know. What she. But she didn't. First of all, you why a did, dummy, bitch. You is, and why are they conce Why are they hiding her? But she didn't think that the mama would see her picture on his phone as the screensaver. What kind of shit? A picture she took and gave it to him. I want to know her name. But the mama is right. Had it been, up oh, somebody. Andrew said, "Come get me, Craig." <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> 
DM me. <laughs> well, listen. Hey, you go be in a fucking whore. <laughs> look, look. Now, Andrew, you can go over to CrankTheWriterStuart.com and send me an email. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But well, listen. Obviously, he don't got no kitty dick or ass. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I know, fuck? but listen. But my thing is, like the mother said, had this been a 10-year-old girl and if the teacher had been a male, it would be a prison. It would have been a totally different story. Completely. They would have handled it completely different. Differently. That's an adverb. That's wild. Wow. But let's talk about it. We we could talk about it. Can we talk about it? Yeah. Oh, should I shake the table, Craig? Go ahead. I'm shaking the table, Craig. I don't be liking to do it. Shake it, Mo. Shake it. You got a crush on your teacher. <laughs> Don't you? You got a question. You, you, when it's a little boy, you so man. It's stop uh-huh. being so man. He's so handsome, ain't he? My baby, he, he had a crush on the teacher. All the girls like him. Uh huh. He's so cute. You know, he he got all the girls. He he. Boosie. Oh lord. It's called grooming. Ain't nothing wrong with that. He just a little. You know what I'm saying? He gonna be a, he that he gonna be a real nigga. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he mm-hmm. gonna be a real mm-hmm. nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cause all all the he cute all the girls want in. You see how you feel so sweet to your teacher? Go give us some sugar. Give us some sugar. Mm-hmm. 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 And see, I'm not for that. Like when you have children, even if it's family members, and like go give you go give your uncle such and such a hug. If that little boy or that little girl said they don't want to, stop forcing your kids to do that shit. Give her a kiss on the cheek. He said he don't want to, damn it. Allow your kids to have agency over their body. Yeah. Savon said it's okay until it's gay. First of all, if this was the other way around, they'd have had that Nick, they'd have had that male teacher's face plastered everywhere. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. And in jail. Right. And they Clayton jail. County been um uh Roderick Jones <laughs> <laughs> of Clayton County. Elementary school. <laughs> Roderick Jones of Clayton County. <laughs> And the little boy, it would have been everywhere. Mm-hmm. And I don't think people, I don't think people think that if if you, if this is a little boy going through this, I don't think they think it's going to have a negative effect on his psyche. But I think all of these little things like that, these, uh, and just for lack of a better word, I'm just going to call him. Um, it's not microaggressions, but it's the only thing that I can kind of think of. It's like when you start planting those little seeds like that for little brave. boys. Yeah, you're teaching them as a little boy that they're supposed to have all of these little girlfriends. Right. And so then when they become a grown man, they start to think that they're supposed to have all of these little girlfriends that happen to be grown women. And and, and that's true because even I still remember as a kid, as a kid, they'll be like, oh, yeah, you got little girlfriends this, you got little girlfriends that. You used to have little girlfriends, Mo. You used to have little girlfriends, didn't they? <laughs> I know you did. They was right. real. You used to have a bunch of them, didn't you? I didn't have a bunch of them. You ain't have you, had, only you only had, I'll sue you though. You had enough though. I, I didn't you have was, enough. I just you, had one. You had two or three. I had one. You was so young and cute looking, so dark. <laughs> <laughs> All the girls on it. No, you know, no, and you no. told them you was from Africa too. No, uh, oh no, my no, God. Back, no, back when I was a kid, being African was not the move. Oh, it is now. It is now. Yes. But not when I was a Everybody kid. wanted a Nigerian. Not, not, but not back when I was a kid. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, you were an African booty scratcher back then. Back then. Oh, that's what it was when I was a kid. So we're the same generation. Generation. All right, we know. We know. We know. <laughs> we know, bitch. <laughs> bitch, we know. <laughs> right. Don't do that. Tell on yourself. <laughs> but yes, it's called grooming. That's exactly what it is. Uh, somebody said if it was a white little boy, she would have been under the prison. Mary Ann, don't play that. This is the product of uh, adultifying black children. Mm-hmm. And shit, and you ain't said none of the word. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody said they it may end up like Robert Kelly. My God. <laughs> right. Um, oh, somebody posting a good question. What? Down, Mo, down. Where, where, where? Uh, they said... Uh, this? Yes. Um, wondering how Nigerians feel about being fetishized by Americans. Well, most Americans, so he's, you know, he's only Nigerian by association. Wait, do you mean like how people just... I want me an African. 
I want me an African. I want me an African. I want him, my African to be from Nigeria, and I want him to have. Why, a, not, why not? I need his name to be Olu. Why does it have to be Olu? Because that's not Jordy with Olu. They could. Why can't they be like an Ajay? That too. Girl, they got some. <laughs> they got some fine Senegalese, Senegalese men. Uh, I just the Nigerians for me. <laughs> Give me the fucking soda. <laughs> <laughs> Give you what, girl? The fucking soda. <laughs> Give me the fucking soda. You know what I want? The fucking soda. Well, to be honest with you, if you go to Nigeria, I don't think they think that Americans uh, fetishize about Africans like that. To be honest with you, if you go to if you go to Africa, they think that Americans don't really even fuck with Africans like that. Well, you know, there are a lot of Africans that think that they're way better than Americans. Yes, they, 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 it's 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 uh, it's uh, very much so of a look down on the American people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They think that we're fucking stupid. Well, I, I won't say I won't say stupid. What I'll say is this because I've I, I t- I've talked to a lot of uh, African like born. Don't fuck no more raised. American pussy then. No, that's I'll don't fuck no more. It is. Don't it's fuck no more American think, pussy then. Think, you you can't think. have no more American. No, pussy. this is what they think. I'm gonna tell you what you they can't think. Can't have no more American. Lord. Pussy. I'm standing in for the coalition of American. Pussy. Let, me tell, no Let pussy. me tell you what they think. What think Let me tell you what they. What do they think? Oh, this is what they think. They think that America is this this great place of opportunity, and that if you don't capitalize on it, and you're not able to be, I would say, let's just say, successful. They think I won't say that they think Africans are stupid. I'll say they 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 may say I mean Americans are stupid. They think I'll say that they think Americans are lazy. Be specific, black A- Americans. African Americans. They will say I don't think they will say that African Americans are lazy. But now but watch not, this. Not stupid. But now watch this. That's yeah. Two things. One. Part of it is they come to this country, and I'm not just talking about Nigerians. I'm talking about Africans in general. Uh huh. I had a professor in college who used to look at us all kind of sideways. He was from um, the uh, was he from? I think he was from Ivory Coast. I can't remember. But bottom line is, a lot of immigrants. Even when you're talking about Asians, they come here thinking we don't want to associate with black people because of the image that's sent around the world about black people. Y'all walking around in them bonnets. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all at Walmart in your pajamas and shit. The little nigga kids fighting and beating the teachers up Not in school and kids. shit. Like the video we just showed. You're right. You're right. But aside from that, a lot of them are trained to believe that, right? When yeah. they come here. Yeah. And they've been taught that if you want to succeed, if you want to get the American dream, then you need to be in close proximity with white people, not them niggas. That's one. Yeah, I could, I could, I could, I could attest to that, yes. Now, as far as that lazy bullshit that they come here with, who do they think built this country? Because the damn sure wasn't white folks. When them Africans come here, they are coming here on our backs, the shit that we did here. Now, yeah, there are some lazy black folks, but shit, we earned it. But we, I feel like we earned it. Yeah, but I'm now I saying, do feel like that the majority of us uh-huh. are not lazy, and we're, you know. But it's just like what they don't understand is they haven't. Give me the fucking soda. They haven't lived here. So they haven't lived here. Give me they the have, fucking they soda. They haven't been here. Give me they the fucking they soda. They haven't lived. <laughs> they haven't lived under this system. Mm-hmm. Everything that 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 they are afforded when they come here is because of us. They're able to get a bank loan to buy a house or start a business because of us. So, like, I don't even, and that's why I don't fuck with uh, that girl who runs the shave room. Because, like, you want to put all of these, uh, these, uh, these skewed ass stories up about black people when you done brought your motherfucking ass over here to benefit off of the work that we've done. And that's that's the thing. for you and the rest of the immigrants. But and that's what the thing. It's not like it's it's not like. Africans just sit up and pop up one day and say, oh, yeah, I just it's what they're being exposed to the same way. OK, perfect example, the same way back in the day, because when I was growing up and I tell people I'm African, they used to ask me, oh, so how is it living in Africa? Do y'all still live in huts? Do y'all still do this? It's because of what you're being is what you're well, being. That's what presented. I was saying earlier. It's like the information yeah. that's been fed around the world. about right. us. So the information that they're getting fed is saying, oh, Africans live in this great, luxurious country, mm-hmm. but they're they're still not able to to uh, progress the way that that other races are able to progress. Mm-hmm. Not knowing 
of what African Americans have to go through to just even get to the position that that the few of African Americans are able to get to. They just think that once you get here, you should work your ass off, and no matter how hard right, you they're, work, they're not right. they're not factoring in of the other situations, all of the racism, right, the red tape, the redlining, exactly. and all the other bullshit that white people come up with to keep us back. Right, they they continuously move the the, the line. Exactly. They continuously move the line. Hence this bullshit with DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion, which some of these white folks have now started to call didn't earn it. Right. And it's like, you crackers ain't, oh, did but I say your you word? You did, but here's the thing. <laughs> you all ain't earned shit you got. But this is the thing, shit though, Shit passed right? down generationally but, to y'all. You talking about what somebody but, didn't earn. But Craig, <laughs> here we go. Let's. I want to revert this back to the colors. They're still on the fence of trying to vote in this direction. Correct. This falls under that. This administration falls under that. Like you're mm -hmm. voting against yourself. Correct. 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 I'm sorry. Can I say something real quick? Come on, Mo. You ain't got to really, ask. I don't really like. I don't really go after people in comments. Go ahead. But, go, uh, go, Mo. You got it. I just go got to say one thing. Uh, and don't even. Actually, you can take it how you want to. I don't really care. About go ahead, Mo. It. But don't don't try to come after my intelligence. Oh, that's one thing. We're gonna get that one straight off the back. Don't come after my intelligence because you're not gonna tell me as an African who was born in America what Africans think. You what? Well, um, I don't know where you're from. I don't know who you are, but don't come after me. Well, if you coming after my intelligence, that's what's going to annoy me. You can say whatever you want to about me, but if you try to fuck with my intelligence, we got an issue. So please, if I annoy you, that's your own thing. I could care less. You don't pay me, but like I said, intelligence wise, don't do that. Thank you. You can go back. Sorry. Where you got your degree from, Mo? Motherfucking synagogue university, bitch. <laughs> and where you learn how to read from? The PhD in reading, bitch. <laughs> and I gave you a motherfucking hall pass to read just then. And I don't know if you passed or whatever. He said what he said. 